good rings like this one, and you can't, sometimes it impedes your balance. Um, and sometimes even something on your wrist will also kind of throw you off. So it's good to have um, as much free as you can. You're going to interlace your fingers and you're going to get a nice solid base. And when you do that, there is a bit of protraction. And what I mean by protraction is your scapula, these flat bones on the back, um, some people refer to them as the shoulder blades, they're going to separate just a little bit using your muscles and spread kind of wrapping along the side. It's very subtle. It's not like, um, like your bones come attached and they move because we all know that you know the skeleton is pretty firm. But the more you practice yoga, the more mobile your bones um, can get. And so if you are one of those people that has been practicing for a while and you're getting quite flexible, then you really need to uh, pay attention to creating strength in all of those poses because you're a lot more vulnerable to injury. Um, I also find that when I interlace my fingers one way, I'm not as stable as when I do it the other way. Usually my right pinky finger down is the more stable one, so I try and alternate. Um, so that I don't favor each side. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a nice firm base. Now I do have a rug here and my rug is pretty dry so it's a little bit, um, it can be a little bit slippery but it also can help you work on strength, um, core strength um, because you have to hold it together a little bit more. Um, but anyways, it's something to keep in mind and also having a wall that you can kick up against um, also will help you. So I'm going to go on my not so um, favored side and I have um, pretty much, it's like, you know, this width. Interlace your fingers. You're going to put your head down. Okay, and then, so you'll see that I'm pushing my uh, interlaced fingers and my elbows into the mat. Really, and by doing that, the shoulder blades naturally come spread apart. They retract from each other and they spread down to the sides. And when I do that, I try to engage these muscles here and the serratus in order to hold everything together, supports it. So you think of all of your muscles um, hugging the bones. Um, so it, from all directions, the muscles come in and they support the skeleton to keep everything really strong and have a lot of integrity here. And you think about a bridge. If a bridge you know, it's got that nice little arch. If somebody came along and loosened all of the screws so that it had a little bit of play, a little bit of flexibility, um, would you want to drive your car across it with your precious cargo, your family? Um, I think not. So we're going to interlace our fingers. I'm going to come down here. We're going to come into dolphin first. So come up. Send your butt up in the air. This is kind of like your down dog, right? So similar. Here's your down dog. So it's the same. You're just going to walk in closer and interlace your fingers. We're going to come into dolphin. Raise your hips up in the sky. Walk your feet in as much as you can. Now you can either have your head hovering over the mat. That really makes you work on all of that engagement and hold here for one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and let it down. Let's just come into child's pose and rest. Take an inhale. 
And side. All right, we're gonna come into it again. This time, go ahead and set your head lightly on the mat, but try and keep it hovering, like so that you could maybe slide a paper in and out. Okay, so coming back into it, put your head lightly down. And this time, maybe raise one leg up. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring that leg down. Stay up, bring the other leg up. One. Notice that maybe the foot on the ground, three, four, five, gets a little bit light. Okay, bring those down. Let's come back into child's pose and rest. Again. Inhale and sigh. And inhale. And sigh. Okay, this time we're going to do a little bit of a tuck. And maybe walk a little forward. Okay, so again, putting your head so it's cradled in your hands. Not super heavy on the mat. Let's bring one knee in. Just bend it like this. Okay, hold it. And notice, if you push into your hands, maybe that other leg gets light. If it does, bend it here. Hold here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let the other leg go down. Hover. And then bring both down. And let's go back into child's pose. And rest. Hmm. Okay. Can you sit? Good. Stay. Stay. Yes. Good boy. All right. For this next one, we're going to go ahead and come all the way up. And you're going to do it with control. So notice I didn't take that foot and just kick it up. But sometimes I'll see people and they'll come here and they'll just kick. And it's a little bit crazy. Like I'm always just like, oh my God, you're gonna hurt yourself. So I don't want you to do that. And obviously I can't see what you're doing. So um, I'm trusting that you're gonna take care of yourself. If you need a wall, if you're not stable, go up against a wall because you want, you're, everything's vulnerable here. So you definitely want to take care of yourself. The strong shoulder girdle, everything pulling in here, supporting, this is your foundation. It is not your head and your neck, okay? So very, very light. I can't stress that enough on the head. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna interlace your fingers. You're gonna bring your head down, come up on your toes, walk it in as much as you can, and then just lean forward, lift up, tuck everything in, like we were here before, right? And then pushing into your foundation, maybe you bring your knees up, and maybe you straighten out your legs. And we'll hold here for one, two, three, four, and five. And maybe you can go more. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now go ahead and bend those knees and come down the same way you came in. But this time let's hover. Feet are pointing, facing towards the wall behind you. You're tucked in really tight. One, two, three, four, and five. And if you want, straighten one leg. And maybe you straighten two and hover here, halfway. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend your knees, bring the toes down. Come all the way down into child's pose. And sit on it and celebrate. So virtual high five. Thank you so much. I hope you found this helpful.